In this demonstration, we're going to go through the process of onboarding remote users. In this example, like in the other videos, there are some things that we've already done. Under settings, I've already clicked on this gear and I've gone in and I've added in my universal template to this template stack. Also, in the device group, I've selected the shared device group so that the device group for my mobile users will be subordinate to the shared device group in my device group architecture. Under zone mapping, I've already specified of the zones that I'm going to use, what will be untrusted and what will be trusted as part of my configuration. Let's proceed now to the configure option to set up our portals and gateways. The first thing that we're asked about here is portal name. There are two different directions you could go in with this. One is to use the Palo Alto provided domain here, lab.gpcloudservice.com, or you could use your own company's domain. If you're using your own company's domain, you would be responsible for propagating this DNS resolvable name. If you use Palo Alto's default domain, they would provide DNS services for this with public name servers. I'm going to choose the portal name Boston Portal. Next, I'm asked about authentication. I've already created the things that we need for this. I've created two different authentication methods, AD authentication and local authentication. Local authentication would just authenticate the users locally to the portals and the gateways. It would not try and speak out to another device to authenticate the user. In an effort to simplify what I'm doing here, I'm going to choose local authentication. This isn't something that I would want to persist for a long time in production. I would perhaps just use this for testing purposes to make sure that I've got the portals and the gateways up that users can connect to this. After I'd gotten that up and running, then I could make sure that I had some sort of multi-factor authentication or something like that configured. Next, for the authentication override certificate, this causes the Prisma Access environment and Panorama to automatically make the certificates for the portals and the gateways. You could also choose to import your own here, but Prisma Access and Panorama can auto-generate these. The internal host detection. Internal host detection is used for Global Protect clients to be able to figure out if they are inside the corporate network or outside the corporate network. Now, Although it is difficult to see, to the left of the word internal host, there is a little checkbox. And you need to check that in order to take advantage of this configuration option here for IP address and host name. Technically, what this causes to happen is that if you turn this on and you make this information available to your Global Protect clients, this will cause them to do a DNS reverse lookup to figure out if they are inside or outside of the corporate network to determine if they, could take, if they should take advantage of internal gateways or external gateways as Global Protect is activated. I'm not going to configure this option at this time. Locations with Prisma Access, this spins up points of presence that your users can connect to. There are different ways you could view this. Right now, I'm looking at the map view. Down here at the bottom of the screen, I could toggle over to the list view as well. 
For my configuration purposes, I'm going to choose the map view in this case. In my map view, I'm going to zoom in on North America. Now, I happen to just have a lab license for doing this. It only allows me to choose two locations. I'm going to say that my company is East Coast and West Coast specific. I'm going to choose U.S. Northeast, and I am going to choose U.S. West as my two locations, the places in the world where my users can connect to and enter into the Prisma Access Cloud. Next, IP address pools. I can add in IP address pools worldwide or for different regions around the world. Bearing in mind that I've talked about my company being US focused, I'm going to choose North America and South America. And I'm going to create my IP address pool here by clicking on Add and then putting in 172.120.50.0. Now, this will not accept anything less than a slash 23 address. You cannot use slash 24. It's a minimum of 512 addresses that you can use in your IP address pool. So I'm putting in 172.120.50.0 slash 23 as my IP address pool for users that are making VPN tunnels into Prisma Access and connecting to gateways. Under Network Services, I'm able to do basically where are my users going to get DNS resolution, okay? Where are my users going to get DNS resolution? Do I want users that connect up to a gateway to go out to the cloud to do their lookup? Or if I click on here, okay, I could switch this over and put in an IP address to perhaps point them to my internal DNS servers. Note that I can specify this for public domains that people are going to. And I can also specify a specific list of domains that I want my users to go to a specific set of DNS servers for. So there are a lot of configuration options here. Under public domains, this is for the lookup of any DNS entry that is not on my specific list over here. In this case, it would go out to the internet to do the lookup, but I could also force those lookups to go down, for instance, my service connection and talk to my corporate DNS server. I could also, for a specific list of domains that I've put in here, specify primary and secondary DNS servers for those too. So I really do have quite a broad set of configuration options here. In this case, I'm just going to keep it simple and allow these lookups to go out to the cloud. I could also specify manual locations here so that within Global Protect, my users could choose specific gateways that they are going to connect to. Okay? This concludes our video on being able to onboard mobile users. I would still have to here click on OK. And then go up here to commit and commit and push to both save these configuration changes to Panorama and then push this information to the Prisma Access environment in the cloud.